Um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today's my topic is a way to build DC OS on OpenStack. Uh, I'm senior engineer from T2 Cloud, uh, which is a China startup focused on cloud computing. Um, it's weird that my mom, uh, Magnum, uh, was added at the topic end. I comfort myself that there are a lot of topics about about uh, Kubernetes and uh, uh, Magnum and the master might think my topic is also work in the same way. So I should tell the truth. My presentation point is about DCOIs with OpenStack, not focused on the Magnum. So I'm so sorry about uh, the Magnum fan um, to make them disappointed. The last is the least, right? Uh, by the way, my colleague Han Chen have uh, one presentation at tomorrow um, ballroom B. So anyone interested about the the, the 800 nodes practice, uh, anything about the cluster scale troubleshooting, uh, will welcome to the uh, list practice the topic. Okay, uh, so. Just sit back and relax. This presentation now begin. Uh, my engine contains three parts. Part number one is about the DCOS related thing, such, such like um, the architecture and uh, who and uh, why we use it. Part number two is about the DCOS deployment. Because of DCOS can deploy it at anywhere, so the main work we should do is uh, to give the methods the uh, infrastructure, no matter what the provider is. It might be AWS or OpenStack Nova or any container engine, uh, such as uh, and, and some, some bare metal. In other words, DCOS can run anywhere, and uh, our concern is to build the DCOS about OpenStack infrastructure. Part number three is about the work we have done and uh, what we are going to do. I have to talk about the history at the beginning. Google certainly is a top star. There are, there are uh, three generation uh, resource scheduler in Google. The first and the second generation they call it Bark, and the method is uh, open source implementing. The third generation, they, are, uh, they call it um, Omega, and uh, Kubernetes is the corresponding open source version. So, methods is the uh, heart of this OS, and it is two level schedule system. The master maintains the results, and uh, the agent asks for results and run task. The disadvantage is clear. Framework and application did not, did not know each other, and the results claim and the results destroy need a lot of time when the whole system is busy. Another problem is the global lock from the master side. The task needs the huge results, is likely to wait more time when the current result is limited. The improvement is not the key we talk about today. This slide shows what is the DCOS. DCOS is more like one resource manager based on methods. It's a light, reliable, and easy to scale out. The top level, the top, le le uh, the top level is uh, DCOS is a uh, framework. You can call it application. Anyway, DCOS makes the whole cluster like one person computer, and you can run your stateful and stateless task easily if you want. It said Twitter has managed more than 10,000 nodes through methods that I cannot provide. From this picture, we can see big data framework run and manage on the DCOS system. 
and no matter what the real infrastructure it is. The back is uh, the back in infrastructure must be provided by AWS, OpenStack KVM, or environmental. To make it easy, we can compare the DCOS to Linux kernel uh, in operation system. The kernel manage the manage and maintain the results, just like the CPU core and the memory and the storage, uh, such as uh, the, even the GPU card, and provide the process and the service with the system API. The operation system makes the physical machine easy to use. We can ignore the machine detail, no matter what it really is. Another slide shows the more detailed information. We can see layer from two different systems do the same network, just collect and manage results, assign and restore it. Methods do the same work as Linux kernel. In the past year, most organizations trace their application and service as their pets. They do everything they can do to keep them healthy. For a scalable system, it's better assume that your service will fail and be prepared to replace it with some new instance. This OS and the methods is really powerful. We can see that uh, who uses the, the methods. Just like Twitter, uh, they handle uh, 10,000 nodes with a few administrators. If you use methods for their CI system, Microsoft used uh, for its uh, self cloud. Samsung cut the cost by 16%. Apple also used methods for the Siri. I draw one slide to show the compare with OpenStack methods and Kubernetes. I just wanted to say, DCOS is uh, designed to run anywhere on premise, no matter what infrastructure provide you choose. The DCOS abstracts the infrastructure below and provides powerful tools and the best, best practice to build self-healing distributed system. I suggest that we use OpenStack to construct our infrastructure and use methods to run our application. I agree with uh, Otto Swill, who is a Magnum project team lead. He provides us a, a requirement list if we want to use methods, such as um, uh, you have a big data, a big data center, and you have a lot of the job. Uh, you might have an infrastructure team and uh, including a lot of uh, expert. Uh, you want to schedule um, a schedule multiple change workload, uh, such as Hadoop and uh, Marathon. Uh, the last point is very important. If you want to manage uh, a large, a large scale cluster, you should have a, 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 a cluster. If you not met that requirement, please choose uh, Kubernetes or other orchestration system. This picture is about the typical system deployment from the official website. It took Amazon Web Service as simple. We can also replace uh, AWS service with OpenStack instance. For example, we can launch an old number instance for public load balancer, which provides virtual IP address. Then boot another instance as master and um, agent to manage and uh, consume results. We can visit the public IP and uh, visit the master, but uh, the really private agent worker are uh, isolated from outside. DCOS is powered by Mesosphere, 
whose product is based on open source methods. The DSOS have an app store uh, from which we can get many application support, like Jenkins, Marathon, and some, some other, such as uh, even, even some distributed DB service. And the latest DSOS loads the coupled with Docker, and uh, it definitely supports Linux container. You can turn you can turn 1,000 machines into a single logic computer with a single GUI and uh, increase the utilization and reduce cost. Let's talk something about the OpenStack Magnum. I think Magnum is the most hot, hot, uh, hot project in the summit. Let's look at the infrastructure with a container. In Magnum, you create an entity, uh, an entity, a cloud resource called the bay. And the bay is a place your container orchestration engine runs. So you can choose one, uh, choose a Kubernetes or methods in that bay. A bay is just a collection of Compute instance. Some enterprise hesitated to adopt open source component due to a lot of reason. Just like lack a lot of support uh, and the long in most stack and uh, the complicated operation get. I think it's uh, it's, it's, uh, it's right, but uh, I think it's uh, still a reason that our vendor exists. So it's hard to say the Magnum is suitable for enterprise uses or not. But I believe it will grow and uh, will be stable. The Magnum logic is clear. It's create and uh, create and config um, hit template, call other OpenStack API, and uh, launch instance Run service. This is the current Nasus driver, driver in Magnum, and the Blueprint DCOS driver in Magnum. The current methods only includes methods and uh, Marathon. It's better to improve the methods by have more component and finally enhances to an uh, open source. This was. A large part of the, the driver logic is similar. Install, IP detect, generate, generate, generate configuration YAML, but uh, image and heat template logic are different. This slide describes how to create a new methods framework. I have said the methods also have two level results schedule monitor. So we have to add um, two level logic from the master side. We design the scheduler and uh, assign the results. And in the engine side, we report state and uh, run the state lines or for job. You can read more from the official website. The methods need to communicate with the open ID provider to application request. They can use the Google or GitHub open ID provider instead. But we can also use Keystone for also resistance. That needs to be after that, uh, that needs to be after the DCOS logic. That's the work we have done. Uh, from this slab or picture, we can see uh, the default logic is changed. The stock and check user name uh, was replaced uh, by the email, check email default. The keystone is the backend authentication node. We now customized some DB framework to fit our product. 
such as application support MySQL group replication and uh, MySQL load balance. We use MacCat as our load balance proxy. MacCat is a powerful proxy and uh, open source, which supports the circle 19.2 standard and almost our database. We also use it to split uh, to shape to, to, to do to DB shaping and uh, splitting working work workload. Okay, that's all. No demo and uh, no rich media show. And I'm sorry for the due to, uh, I'm sorry for that due to the short notice. Uh, you can email us and have any question. Uh, we will we will reply as soon as possible. Ah, uh, ten minutes after. Okay, thank you. That's all.